Hi all, Plantside Agent here. Today we're going to do some tests to uh, determine performance on burner different burner heights for the Trangia Spirit Burner. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. Uh, recently I did a video uh, checking out performance of the, uh, the little round uh, alcohol burner in the uh, Trangia micro cook kit, cook set. And uh, one of the things when I originally did the review of this setup, I did a burn and it took uh, almost 10 minutes to boil water uh, with using the uh, Trangia in the current configuration. Uh, with this one, it only took about six minutes, so much faster. And the, one of the big differences is this one, as you can see, the burner height was only about an inch and a quarter from the bottom of the pot, whereas this is only about three quarters of an inch. So I was just kind of curious if I could uh, raise the burner height off the pot here to see what the difference in performance is. I, I suspect better since the uh, alcohol burner sweet spots around an inch and a half, inch and a quarter. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, do a couple of burn tests just to just so we can see what it is. I'm curious. I haven't done it yet. So anyway, I can't I can't use the uh, pot stand that comes with the uh, the micro because uh, there's no way that I could conceivably, without a lot of work, raise the uh, oops, better this way, raise the burner height up about a quarter of an inch to a three to a get the the added height. So. I said what I'm going to do, and also to kind of make all things equal, I made a pot stand out of some hardware cloth. So what I'll do is, and I made it to, to fit this pot. So what I'll do, this this one gives me, here's my ruler. This one will give me about oh, an inch and a half from the uh, top of the burner to the bottom of the pot, like this. And then what I'm so I'll do a boil test with the inch and a half. And then what I'll do is I'll just set this on here. That'll raise it up, the burner height up, so it'll be the uh, quarter of three, come on, brain, the three quarters of an inch height between the burner and the bottom of the pot, the same you get with the, uh, the regular pot stand. This is the one that, like I said, took about, you know, about 10 minutes and 19 seconds. Of course, the water was a little colder, the room temperature was a little colder when I originally did these tests, so I thought I'd just replicate them with the uh, current temperatures that I was using yesterday, which is the room temperature is about 70 degrees and the water was 67, 66. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what's in store for today. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get everything prepped up and then I'll get back to you when we get to uh, do the test. Okay, ready to go. I've got uh, 16 ounces, two cups of water at 66 degrees, and I got the fuel, the stove uh, fueled up. So I'll light it off, and then we'll let it bloom. Then I'll put the pot on, and we'll see what we get. Give it a second to bloom. The uh, Trangias bloom quicker. I think just the performance overall is better because that has a wick inside where if you buy the, uh, I got one over here, and I've used these. The Chinese knockoffs don't usually have the, uh, the wick, so they don't bloom quite as quickly. See, bang, that guy's already going. So now that it's bloomed, go ahead and put the pot on. Oh, my stand works. First time I've tried it. There we go. We're off. Okay, there's your flame pattern. And I say this is the inch and a half spacing. While we wait for this to come to boil, I will put links in the description of the test I did with the uh, small round uh, alcohol burner. Also, I'll put links to my uh, playlist of stoves and cook kits down there and also the original review I did on the uh, Transia Micro. So those will all be down in the description if you're interested. Okay, we're getting close. Uh, we're at 208 at uh, 7.5, 209, 210, 210, boiling away in 
right-hand side. 11. Oh, yeah. And come on. There it is. 748. One thing about this pot, I don't know if I covered it when I did the original review. The uh, <laughs> two cups is right up to the edge. So you can see this thing's boiling just about to boil over the top. So I guess if you're going to need two cups for whatever you're doing, just be very careful when you're handling it. Otherwise, you probably want to go with something less. So uh, there you go. That's the uh, inch and a half spacing test. So I'll go ahead and... Uh, power all this down and then uh, get set up for the next burn. Okay, I'll set up for the next burn. I've, again, I've got uh, 16 ounces of water. Uh, this time's a 67. I don't know why it's a degree warmer. That's only was about, what, 10 minutes ago there, that I went ahead and <laughs> filled it the first one and it was 66. I just go into the kitchen into the tap, but uh, probably for scientific, I should have just had a gallon jug out here, let it go up to room temperature. That way every one would be the same, but Oh well, like I said, this isn't uh, this isn't high science. This is just uh, garage uh, answering just some questions. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and light this off, let it bloom. Since the stove's preheated a little bit, it probably will bloom a little bit faster. Not that it really matters. Yep, sounds like it. Uh, it's a blooming. Give it a second to get really. Set in there. Woo, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get this started. I'll put the pot on. Get the timer. It's off. Okay, there's your flame pattern. Just for comparison, uh, we're coming up on the 748, which we hit the 212 on the previous burn. So you can see. Uh, we're coming up on 48, and there it is at 183. So obviously the the gap does makes a difference just on that comparison. But I'll go ahead and let this run out to a 212 and see what we get. Okay, we're at 210, sneaking up on the 212 mark any time. 211. Two minutes beyond the previous boy. There we go. Seven fifty nine fifty, we'll say. So there you go. So about nine nine minutes and fifty seconds for the three quarter inch. So it's a little over two minutes longer when you lose that uh, that difference in height. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, power down here and then we'll summarize. All right, to summarize, uh, the inch and a half gap between the top of the burner and the bottom of the pot at 66 degrees took 7 minutes and 48 seconds. Uh, the three quarter inch gap that started at 67 degree water temperature it took uh, 9 minutes and 50 seconds. Uh, my previous boil that I did in this one was eight, 10 minutes and 18 seconds, but of course the garage was cooler and the water temperature was I think probably almost 10 degrees colder also but anyway the uh, the only thing we really proved is that gap does make a difference so whenever you can get um, whenever you're setting up your alcohol stoves or burners uh, if you can get that inch quarter inch and a half that's probably optimum but you know if you can't like in the case of this this burner or even you know the knockoff stove kit you're not going to get that uh, you're only going to get about that three quarter inch gap, so you'll just have to take what you get. And you know, all things considered, it doesn't really probably doesn't really make that much difference whether you have to sit for an extra two minutes to get your water <laughs> boiling. You probably wouldn't even notice if you're out in the wild. You should be looking at the, the the landscape and the creatures anyway. So time should go by fairly fast, unless you're hurting. <laughs> it's going to be way too long. I guess if you really want something fast, go get a jet boil. That sucker, two cups, got only about a minute and a half or so. I haven't done the full test, but I've been using mine on the kayak quite a bit. It's just lightning fast. But then again, that comes with other other considerations. One, they're, they're a lot more expensive, and then you got a lot more weight and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, we, uh, we divert from the main topic. So 
I mean, there's the uh, results of these two burns. Um, actually, the Trangia is a, a great little stove, the spirit burner. Um, I like them. I use them. I'm not have no doubt. You know, whatever the shortcomings are, is what what they are. But the the uh, the other parts of it more than make up for it. So, anyway, that's enough rambling on. Uh, hope you guys, uh, the ones that stuck around, <laughs> enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.